Where can you find information on the outbreak of monkeypox, immunizations, and treatments? A rare, serious, and sometimes deadly disease that may be spread from animal to human. It is on the rise in some parts of Africa. Here's what you need to know about vaccinations and treatments. Despite the lack of agreement among experts on the WHO expert committee, Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus of the organization declared monkeypox a worldwide emergency, claiming that he served as a tiebreaker. It was the first time the head of a UN health organization had taken such a stand without expert input. We're in the midst of a crisis, and we've seen how quickly it can spread through different modes of transmission, Tedros said. We know there are still many divergent views about this process, but we have to keep in mind what's at stake. WHO's emergency chief, Michael Ryan, said that the declaration of monkeypox as a global emergency ensures that the world takes this outbreak seriously. The idea of monkeypox was long established in parts of Africa and Asia. The virus, which has rarely spread past the continent, suddenly became more widespread after 52 cases emerged in European countries. The WHO released their expert opinion last month, claiming that the monkeypox outbreak does not yet constitute an international emergency. The panel convened this week to evaluate the situation and is coming up with a new report. Last year, more than 16,000 cases of monkeypox were reported in 74 countries. To date, monkeypox deaths have only been reported in Africa. A more dangerous version of it is spreading, mainly in Nigeria and Congo. In Africa, rats and other wild animals carrying the virus normally do not cross international boundaries to infect humans during isolated epidemics. However, monkeypox is spreading among humans who have no connections to animals and haven't recently visited Africa in Europe, North America, and other places. Dr. Rosamund Lewis, the top specialist on monkeypox for the WHO, stated last week that men made up 99% of all instances of monkeypox outside of Africa and that 98% of those cases were men who had sex with men. According to experts, sex at two raves in Belgium and Spain may have contributed to the monkeypox epidemics in Europe and North America. Despite the fact that I am currently announcing a public health emergency of global significance, Tedros noted that this outbreak is primarily affecting guys who have sex with other men, particularly those who have several sexual partners. That suggests that with the appropriate approaches, this outbreak can be prevented. After observing little evidence of widespread transmission outside of men who are gay, bisexual, or have intercourse with other men, Britain has revised its evaluation of monkeypox, stating that the infection does not spread quickly or result in serious illness. The WHO's emergency designation was supported by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which expressed the hope that it would spur global action to contain the epidemics. More than 2,800 cases of monkeypox have been documented in the U.S., and more than 370,000 vaccine doses have been supplied to states that have reported cases. Some experts have questioned whether such a proclamation would be beneficial, claiming that the illness is not serious enough to merit attention and that wealthy nations already have the resources to combat monkeypox. Despite the lesion sometimes hurting, the majority of patients recover without the need for medical assistance. According to Southampton University Senior Research Fellow in Global Health, Michael Head, the World Health Organization's emergency designation may enable funders like the World Bank to allocate resources to halt the outbreaks in both the West and Africa. Some scientists in the United States have hypothesized that monkeypox may soon establish itself as a widespread STD, much like gonorrhea, herpes, and HIV. The epidemiology of monkeypox has changed, and there is now broad, unanticipated transmission, according to Dr. Albert Koh, a Yale University professor of public health and epidemiology. We do need a worldwide coordinated response to get it under control, but there are some genetic alterations in the virus that show why that may be happening. Co demanded that testing be increased right away because there are huge gaps in surveillance. 
He claimed that the examples that we are currently observing are only the very beginning. It's probably too late to rapidly put an end to the outbreaks in Europe and the United States, but it's not too late to prevent monkeypox from wreaking havoc in developing nations that lack the means to combat it. Tedros of the WHO urged everyone to work together in solidarity in order to distribute monkeypox medications, diagnostic tools, and vaccines. The United Nations Organization has previously stated that it is attempting to develop a vaccine-sharing mechanism for the nations that are most afflicted but provided little information as to how it may operate. Contrary to several businesses that produced COVID-19 vaccines, including Bavarian Nordic of Denmark is the sole manufacturer of the monkeypox vaccine. The director of the Global Health Division of the Institute of National Biomedical Research in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Dr. Placid Mbala, expressed his hope that any international efforts to eradicate monkeypox would be equitable. Millions of doses of the monkeypox vaccine have been requested by nations such as the UK, Canada, Germany, and the US, but none have reached Africa. Mbala stated that the solution needs to be global and that any vaccines given to Africa would be used to target individuals who were most in danger, such as rural hunters. There will still be instances in Africa, he warned, despite the fact that vaccination in the West might help contain the spread there. The risk to the rest of the globe will persist unless this issue is resolved. Where can